Welcome to daily ukulele workout number 79. This is the penultimate daily workout that I'm doing since we're sort of relaxing the lockdown in the UK and I have other ideas about how I want to use some of my time in the next few weeks. And one of the things I want to do is develop a series I've already started and then left because other things came about. Um, including COVID-19, which was to write a set of um, studies in the way that Bart did, and I used in number 78, where I'm going through every key. Um, now I'm not doing a prelude and a fugue, I'm just doing a study in each key, so there are going to be 24 of them. And I'm going to start by showing you one in C-sharp minor that I've done. And I've called the whole set Up the Blue Stairs because my study, where I'm sitting at the moment, is up a nice blue carpeted um, stairway up to the third floor of the house where I've got a lovely view over the River Trent and where my grandson always said, let's go up the blue stairs when he wanted to come up here to play on my computer and with the games and things that are up here. So from Up the Blue Stairs, this one is in C sharp minor. And what I'm going to do is, for people who are interested, tell them how they can acquire these as I publish each one. And they'll be coming out about once a fortnight or once a month. One of the reasons for my doing it is that I want to set myself the target of getting it done, um, probably before Christmas. Um, and I'm quite good at working to a deadline, so I know if I tell myself this is when they're going to be done by, I can do it. Um, two purposes in each one. One is to show the possibilities of the chords and the scales that work for, that are the, the keys themselves, and then also to make an attractive piece of music. And I'm happy to show you how this one goes. A lot of chromatics, and one of the things that you hopefully will do, although I haven't written it out for people is to work out what the notes in a C-sharp minor scale are. And there's a C-sharp and we're heading to there. So the notes are these ones. And I guess it will be good for everybody to work out that scale for themselves and think about the notes and the sounds. The chord of C sharp minor in this position, I mean you can play it up there of course, but I wanted to do it going from that C sharp to this C sharp. And if I'm playing as an arpeggio, I can get that. Quite tricky to play, notice my arm is out a bit so that the first finger is clearing the, the E so I get that shape and that is string. Okay, so the way it goes is this. Now there's nice chromatics in this first part. I pull back the fourth finger in the next part of the bar. And I have a particular love, this is one of the things why I carry on playing the ukulele, because I like that sound. I'm going up to this G-sharp 7th, now to an F-sharp minor, and using all four fingers, and then it repeats with a second time bar where you're going To get into the second section of the tune, I'll be doing a C sharp seventh from C sharp minor, G sharp seventh. Then I've ended just with a C sharp minor. Now this is just the workout version. 
the whole one will be slightly differently arranged but that is the basic material of it so I hope you've enjoyed this excursion into the scale and the what can happen in C-sharp minor.